Good morning, everybody. What's up? What's going on? It's me, Jessica, and it's day 131 of our motivational videos today. I just always like to start by saying thank you, you know, of course, for watching, for subscribing, for, you know, writing, for commenting, for just wanting to be better, better people and, you know, just kind of realizing what I'm trying to do and just, you know, finding a little bit of appreciation in it. I really, I appreciate that you appreciate it. <laughs> um, it actually does mean a lot. You know, nobody likes to think that the stuff that they do, you know, the stuff that they go out of their way to do every day, you know, is meaningless. I don't, you know, like I always say, if I help, if I get to just one person, that's all that matters to me. You know, I got 39 subscribers at the moment. You know, hopefully that number keeps going up. Um... Hopefully you guys all watch every day. If you don't watch every day, you know, I'm sure you watch more than a couple times a week. And I just really hope that, you know, it's really getting to all of you. Um, you know, and even the people who haven't subscribed. But you should sh for sure subscribe because what other channel can you be guaranteed a video every morning? Alright? I think I've missed one. Anyways. Um, so what's up? It's Friday, and uh, I hope you guys are ready to get a little bit uh, motivated this morning. Uh, you know, it's Friday, it's the end of the week, but it's never time to slow down. You should always keep going. Keep, keep, keep going. You know, stuff every single day gets you to where you want to be in life. All right? You should never take a day off. And, okay, when I say you should never take a day off, if you have a J-O-B, a just over broke, you know, a little job, Okay, you're going to get tired, you're going to get exhausted, you're going to, you know, feel worn thin. So, you got to make sure you take time off from those kinds of things. But when you find something that you're passionate about, when you find something that you really have a goal that you're trying to achieve, you got to suck it up and you got to go to that 8 a.m. class or you got to go to that 6 to 10 p.m. class. You have to, you know, suck it up and go to the gym and work out. You have to suck it up and get on the conference call or get on the webinar and just you know put an hour out of your time for the day and take some notes and you know who cares who cares if your hand hurts you need to take notes you need to do these things because they're going to get you ultimately where you need to go okay you need to keep the job because it helps support your dreams and your goals and probably your business while it gets started all right so don't be unwise and make ridiculous decisions to just if you just started this business to like up and leave your job because think about it if you don't have secured uh, free product for the month you need to pay for your auto delivery you probably have a cell phone bill you know you probably need gas in your car to get to these meetings so you're gonna need a source of you know supporting your dream right you gotta have a job while you're working on your fortune it's just you know you can't most of us aren't Steve Jobs, we're not, you know, Henry Ford, we're not these people who uh, who just can drop out of school and figure out that we're super geniuses and come up with, like, these amazing things and now all of a sudden we're billionaires. Okay, not a lot of us are like that. Okay, we have it, the capabilities inside of us, but we're not aware of it yet. And I'm not going to suggest to you to ever do anything that could set you back a little bit or discourage you. So I want you to stay in school. I want you to keep your little job, no matter how much it stresses you, okay? My job stresses me out. My job irritates the crap out of me. My job wears my body physically thin because of these heavy boxes of produce. I'm telling you, I lift, like, when I get my shipments in every day, it's like eight 50-pound bags of potatoes, you know, three cases of 50 pounds of cabbage and two cases of, you know, 48 ears of corn, however much that weighs up to, you know, 40 pound case of cantaloupe, like, seriously, I lift a lot, um, every day, and it wears my back out, you know, I get three pallets, and then I gotta take the stuff off the pallets, put it on a six-wheeler, take the six-wheeler, put stuff out on my counter, and then I gotta take the more stuff, I gotta stock it up in my cooler, it's just constant lifting, bending, lifting, you know, bending, wrapping, and, like, I use my fingers a lot, my fingers, like, I even, like, did something to a nerve in the middle of my hand, and now, like, when I use a knife, it really hurts the palm of my hand, but there's just stuff that you have to sacrifice, because I know I need this job, I'm making decent money, I've had three job offers in the last month, but I've turned them down, because, one, this job is right at the end of my street, 
Two, I'm making whatever, eight seventy five an hour. Three, I'm working about 50 hours a week. So I'm bringing home like almost 400, pretty much $400, maybe a little under after taxes a week. Um, so I'm able to take care of my cell phone bill. I'm able to keep gas in my car. I'm able to get an oil change. I'm able, you know, to have a little extra money in case I run over a screw and have to get a plug in my tire. I have the money to pay for my auto delivery. I have money to, you know, throw my mom a little bit just to help out or, you know, go buy my mom a pair of jeans because I just love her and she's done so much for me. Or I have that little money to, you know, help my best friend who has, you know, a four-year-old daughter and is just a single mother and just grinding her heart out and really wants to get her affiliate pack. I have the money to be able to help her do that sooner than she would, you know. So if I were to leave that, I would screw myself. Like, I would just take away all of my income. I'm making money in my business. But let's be serious. Who wants to make money to spend all their money, right? So, until I'm making that big income, I'm not leaving where I'm at. Um, I'm not going to make the unwise decision to take a job for, you know, the same or a little bit less money that's further away. Because, let's face it, because if anything happens, my job's right at the end of the street so I can go back to walking. Alright? I don't... I don't even use a half a tank of gas throughout the week, so it leaves me gas to be able to go to South Lane and Lansing, to be able to get to these home events and be able to meet with people, and it's really helping. So I know it sucks, but you guys, you just got to keep doing it. You got to keep plugging in. You got to keep going through your struggles, you guys. Like, I know you're busy. I know you are. I Everybody I talk to, they always, I'm busy, I don't have time, I don't have the money. Okay, it's all about how you do it. Right? Everybody has some money. Every, I mean, if you don't, you don't. But if you don't have any source of income, you really need to like reevaluate what you're doing. Because at this point, if you're over 16 and you have no source of income, you're probably being really lazy in life. Okay, So you need to figure that out. Um, but this is really what I wanted to talk to you about. I didn't mean to go seven minutes on that subject, seriously, you guys. But I just, seriously, just don't give up and don't let stuff that wears you thin, you know, knock you out of the game. All right? That stuff should be building you up, should be making you stronger. All those frustrations, all those things that stress you out, those things that you're like, man, I do not want to do this for the rest of my life. All right? Just know that you're not going to do those things for the rest of your life. And while you have to do them right now, let it make you stronger. Let it teach you. Let it mold you into a better person. Um, and this is our quote. It's by Michael Jordan today. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. That's pretty nice. Obstacles don't have to stop you. Isn't that what I just said? Like, you may think that you're like, man, I just can't do this anymore. I don't know. Like, oh, I can't. But you can. Why? Because you're alive. You're living and breathing and you're kicking. So guess what? Odds are you're going to have to. All right? So... Don't let obstacles stop you. Like I told you before, life's going to throw bricks at you. It's going to throw tsunamis and waves and hurricanes and sleet and snow and sometimes rainbows and sunshine and flowers, okay? It's life. It's what happens. But it's how you, you know, how you interpret it. It's how you, you know, then take what you've learned and the lessons you've learned and the mistakes you've made and how you implement the changes into your life, okay? It's all about you. Do not let these obstacles stop you. If you run into that wall, don't stop. Don't turn around. Don't give up. Don't let your haters knock you down. Don't let them make you lose sight on your end goal. Don't make them lose sight on your dreams and your wishes. Um, you know, and just figure out how to climb that wall. Build up your strength to be able to do this. Because do you really think that it was easy for me at first to lift all these boxes? Heck no. I had to go, I, like, seriously, other than wanting to get in shape, I had to go to the gym just to be able to lift this produce stuff at work. All right? You got to do what you got to do to be able to get by sometimes. It's not forever. It's just, you know, part of the struggle. So embrace your struggle. Embrace your obstacles and let them make you stronger. Because in the end, you're going to be on top unless you let it defeat you and knock you down. And then you're just going to be in the same place tomorrow. So I want you guys to stay positive. I know it's Friday, but don't. Don't let the sight of the weekend, you know, throw you off course. You got to keep your eye on the prize. Pay now, play later. Have a great day.